According to a recent report from the US Government Accountability Office, GAO, as of March 2023, only slightly more than half of the country's F-35 fighter jets were deemed mission-capable, with a rate of about 55%. This falls significantly short of the targeted rates of 90% for the F-35A and 85% for the B and C variants. The GAO's investigation pointed to issues in depot and organizational maintenance as the primary factors behind this underperformance. Delays in establishing depot maintenance activities resulted in slow component repairs, leaving over 10,000 components awaiting repair. Furthermore, a shortage of spare parts and an alleged over-reliance on contractors within the US military were identified as contributing factors to the F-35 fleet's subpar mission-capable rate. The Kremlin dismissed the significance of US-supplied Abrams tanks to Ukraine, stating that these tanks would not alter the outcome of Ukraine's offensive and that they would eventually be destroyed. This response came after Kiev received shipments of Abrams tanks to bolster its forces, attempting to breach heavily fortified Russian defences. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov emphasized that there was no single weapon capable of shifting the battlefield dynamics, reiterating the Kremlin's stance that such Western-supplied weaponry would also be susceptible to destruction. Ukraine had previously requested more Western weapons, including longer-range missiles, to enhance its ability to break through Russian positions and conduct strategic strikes within Russian-controlled territory. China's recent military drills near Taiwan are aimed at countering what the Chinese government sees as the arrogance of separatist forces. This comes in response to reports from Taipei regarding a notable uptick in military activity in the region, including exercises conducted on land facing the island. Taiwan, which China claims as its own territory, has noted a surge in the presence of fighters, drones, bombers, warships and the Chinese aircraft carrier Shandong in the vicinity this month. The heightened frequency of these military actions has raised concerns about the potential for unintended clashes, as expressed by Taiwan's defense minister. Before you move forward, immerse yourself in the precise, creative and captivating military world. Download the Defense Squad mobile app now, available on the Google Play Store. Experience it today. The US Army has chosen four companies, Textron Systems, General Dynamics Land Systems, Mikiku Inc. and Oshkosh Defense to construct two prototypes each for the Robotic Combat Vehicle Light, RCVL program. These contracts require the delivery of prototypes by August 2024 and will involve a preliminary design review during the initial phase. The Army plans to conduct a competition among the first phase contract awardees for second phase contracts, with a single winner selected in fiscal year 2025. This selected winner will be responsible for finalizing system designs, building and delivering up to nine full system prototypes by fiscal year 2026. Further testing will inform a production decision in fiscal year 2027, with the first unit expected to be fielded in fiscal year 2028. According to Brigadier General Jeffrey Norman, Director of the Next Generation Combat Vehicles Cross-Functional Team, human-machine integrated teams are vital for the future success of ground combat in the land domain. Pakistan's influential military, which has historically played a significant role in the country's affairs, is turning to agriculture as a solution to address Pakistan's economic challenges. Under a food security initiative, the military is actively involved in farming government-owned lands to produce food for the country's impoverished population. Specifically, they are targeting the acquisition of one million acres of land in Punjab province, with a focus on improving crop yields and optimizing water usage.